Thank you so much for stopping in. This is part two of the November 2023 um, Intuitive Oracle Astrology Channeling that I'm doing for all signs. Uh, the, first, the first video was um, Aries through Virgo. This video is Libra through Pisces. Um, originally, I laid out one card for, I used three different decks. I laid out one card for every sign. And from that, I'm going to do the intuitive channeling for you for the month of November of 2023. Uh, so thank you for stopping in. You know, just as a reminder, I am an intuitive oracle channeler. So um, I'm going to be doing that. We're going to start with Libra. Welcome, Libra. This is your uh, November 2023 report. Um, for the month of November of 2023. The cards that you have received are, ears wide open. Two of Cups. And the Heart. Now I'm going to do the channeling for you. You have come to a point in your life where all, everything that you have been working on and focusing on are really becoming, are really beginning to bloom. You have thoughtfully listened. You have watched. You have paid attention and you have worked very hard to get to the place that you are right now. You are the heart of your family. And you have a relationship that is beginning to coalesce again, to come together, and there's an, an, a renewed fire, a renewed passion in your relationship, in your personal relationships. We also want to extend that to your business relationships. You have come to a, a comfortable spot in your business in your business life where you can now formulate and establish some strong foundations, comfortable foundations. You're comfortable. You've come into a comfort level in what you have been doing. And everything, every point of your life has really begin to, to gel. It may have felt disjointed over the past time, but it is it is coming into, it's gelling. It's becoming almost like it wasn't quite real, maybe, but it is, it's feeling real now. You know, it's feeling, you're come to the, the point where you, you feel it, you see it, it's all gelling. But you, because you have, you have paid attention, you have put in the effort, you put in the hard work, and now you can um, feel those rewards. And, 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 you know, it's, your relationships are really starting to bloom also. And, and then just again, they're saying, yeah, you are the heart of your family. You are the heart of your family. And that is a nice place to be. So, Libra, you have put a lot of work into your, in the past, you've come up to this point. You've put a lot of effort, a lot of work, hard work, and now you can begin to be comfortable in what you do and, and your, your love relationships, your business relationships, your family relationships, your money relationships. You are able to rely on those things you're able to rely on those things because you have put in the hard work, you've put in the dedication, and that will give you a really good start. This, the month of November of 2023, is, is a start of, of a number of years forward as you, you continue on in your path, and that is to be commended and appreciated. So appreciate your month. Uh, again, yeah, Libra, appreciate all the things that you have done. 
and see them as, you know, really um, some amazing things that you have been. And um, have a really good month, Libra, because it's going to be a good month for you. And thank you for stopping in. I'm going to move on to the next one. Uh, please like and share my videos. And um, I'm going to now move on to the next sign of Scorpio. So thank you so much. Welcome, Scorpio. This is your November 2023 Intuitive Oracle Astrology Report. Uh, it is the month of your birth, so happy birthday. It is the month of, uh, it's the Scorpio month, so welcome. Um, as I uh, I wanted to remind you that you are this is an I am an intuitive trans channeler, and it's going to be for, this is going to be for your sign Scorpio for the month of November of 2023. I laid out three had three decks of cards, and um, so this is going to be your channeling for Scorpio's channeling for the November 2023. Your first card was a higher view. The next card is the Nine of Wands. And then you have the boat. I'm going to channel your message now. Of course, my phone is going crazy. The month of November for you, Scorpio, is bringing in money, our property through an inheritance, winning, or windfall. You are sitting in a situation where Opportunities are coming to you. And you need to, you're being advised to understand that there is a windfall coming. If it's a love, money, it's relationships, if it's business, there is a windfall of positive energy coming into for you. And in order, in order to not get, um, because it is quite large, instead of kind of getting bowled over by it, they're asking you to rise above and, and look at the situation before you react. You hold the key to all of your success. You do not mind being bold. You do not mind leading the pack. But you do know, and you do know, that you do hold your light, and it is brilliant. If you believe that there, if, if you believe that um, you are over, worked, over relied upon. Understand that that too requires that you stand and take a higher view of, of everything that is going on because a lot is going on all along. A lot is going on. You have many opportunities within the realm of where you sit. And it's a matter of, of knowing that you have opportunities and that um, it's, it's important for you to take a, a, a wider view of everything. If you're starting to get anxious, if you're starting to get agitated, or if you're starting to get a little bit like this is too much, stand back and review what you, what you are seeing and and then take it one step at a time. But there is a lot of positive energy coming into your, your life. And um, it might take a few minutes for you to just say, Oof, 
okay, this is really wonderful, but I need to, I need to kind of step back and look at it. So just plan to do that. If something, it's going to be big. If something, whatever happens comes in, just take a few minutes and think about it. Instead of reacting, think about it. And um, then take every step, the next steps. You're going to have a good month, uh, Scorpio. Happy birthday again. And uh, thank you for stopping in. I'm going to move on to the next sign now. But um, please like and share my videos. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Have a great month, Scorpio. Okay. Welcome, Sagittarius. This is your monthly, your November 2023 um, Oracle Astrology Channeling. It is for the sign of Sagittarius and for the month of November. Just as a reminder, I am an intuitive Oracle Channeler. I laid out cards. I'm going to show you the cards, and then I'm going to receive the channel, the channeling message that um, for you this month. The first card for Sagittarius is a deep breath. This is a very light card. Take a deep breath. The Queen of Pentacles. And mice. This is the, I'm going to do the chat. Um, this is the channeling I have for you, Sagittarius, for the month of November 2023. There may have been some, over the past months, there may have been some uh, disagreements, some discord uh, within your family, within your business, within your relationships that was a little discerning to you. I mean, it kind of sets you a little bit off balance. We want you to know that the month of November, that is changing before you get too far into the month of November, meditate, stop, slow down, deep, breathe deep, and know that the tides are turning in your direction. They're, they're, the wind is at your back now. The tide is turning so that you, you float. You float instead of any kind of resistance. It's been it's been a little difficult to try to keep all the balls in the air. But you managed to do that. And now you can stop. You can relax. You've got the balls in your hands. You don't have to keep them up in the air. You've got the balls in your hands. And now you can start appreciating that you do have your business. You do have your family. You do have love. You do have money. And it's all settled. It, it's it's the month of November is beginning is is showing stability that you're going that that you will have for an extended amount of time, eight months or at least a year into uh, the future. And there, we're also asking that you sit quietly in your in the beauty that's around you. Not sit quietly, that's metaphorical, but sit in your in all the benefits that you have, in all the wonderment that is happening around you. Because you are, everything is really in control. It just seemed like it wasn't. Everything really is organized. Everything really is in place. It just started feeling like it wasn't, and it almost felt like it got out of hand. But it is it is in hand. You do have it under control, and it will benefit you once you take a deep breath, clear your mind. For the next year, you will have you will start building on that that stability and and being in that appreciation of really having a very good life, a very nice family, a really great income, all of the things that matter to most people. And they matter to you, and it all blooms. It all begins to bloom, and um, you feel that, and you feel the support. Okay, that is it for you, Sagittarius. You're going to have a nice month. It's going to feel like, oh, I finally have accomplished um, 
I've kind of kind of walked through the coals and now and I've accomplished that and now it's settled. It's you're seeing some future um stability. But you've it's always been there. The stability the stability has always been there. You just kind of forgot because that other the other energy was building up. And it was really from outside. It wasn't within. It was it was outside energy that was building up. So enjoy your month, Sagittarius. Appreciate it. And um, thank you so much for being here. Please like and share and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. Um, and have a really great month, Sagittarius. I'm going to move on to the next sign now. Welcome, Capricorn. This is your November 2023 Intuitive oracle astrology report is for the sign of uh, capricorn in the first video this is part two video i laid out i laid out three layers of cards and i'm going to use those and then i'm going to do an intuitive channeling for you uh, for the month of november of 2023 the first card that comes up is into me i see The Hermit. And the Bull. Now I'm going to do the uh, intuitive channeling. I, the message I'm getting for Capricorn is you have been in a reflective period of time where you look into yourself and really discover what it is that you want, what it really is that you need, what it really is that you, you love to do, what you love to eat, what you, what you love to spend your money on. you've also had kind of a bullheadedness about that approach. Or you have had um, a bullheaded influence on you that did not allow you to know what you liked. It didn't allow you to know what you like to eat, know how you like to cook, know how you like to shop. There may have been that, that, a bullheadedness energy put onto you by another person, by society, that you just really didn't weren't able to break through until you have been doing that in the last year. And you really have looked into yourself. You have spent that time in a, in in the contemplative mode where you are able to, where you finally were able to, and now you're there know what you know your money situation know what you like to eat know your family know the path that you are on and and to appreciate it by um pursuing the things that you loved in your own way not in somebody else's way not forced upon you but in your own way and that maturity at whatever age you are at is really what your focus was, is really what the, the main drive has been over the past year. And now for November, you are in your space. You know what you want. And now you don't have to compromise. You don't have to give up something for someone else, give up something for the office, give up something because of finances. You have it all in place. And it is all in place. And the work that you have done by looking into yourself is the path that you needed to take for your soul growth. From this time, from this time forward, you will continue to build
your confidence, continue to build the love for your own life, continue to build the nice relationships that you have developed. And be able to, from that point on, is expand it. Expand it, make it bigger, bigger, make it being, it blooms, it becomes big, it becomes uh, progressively bigger and bigger and bigger. And that is what your life is all about. It's about serving yourself at this point. You have been doing that. You've been in quiet mode. And now you can just truly love your life and let it be as strong and in potential as you want it to be. Have a really good month, Capricorn. It's going to be, it, it's been a tough road. It's been, it's been a tough road, but at this point now your road has smoothed and you, you can, you don't have to worry about stumbling blocks any longer. Have a really great month and appreciate all those things that, that have come to you and that you have made yourself. Thank you for being here. Thank you for stopping in Capricorn and um, please like and share my videos. And if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to move on to Aquarius now, but have a great month, uh, Capricorn. This should be really good for you. Okay. Welcome Aquarius. This is your intuitive oracle astrology report for the month of November of 2023. Um, it, this is for the sign of Aquarius. In the first video, I laid out cards for every sign. I, there were three different, three different cards. And um, for Aquarius, these are the cards that have come for you. I want to remind you, I am an intuitive uh, oracle channeler. And I'm going to show you the cards, and then I'm going to channel the message that uh, the universe has for you. Uh, the first card is the oracle's gift. The second card is Nine of Swords. This is for Aquarius. And then the flag. The flag card. I'm going to, now this is the, the channel message I have for you. Aquarius, you are gifted with many abilities. You have spent hours, days, months, years not really trusting your intuition, not really trusting your decisions, and causing some discord in your own life by not trusting that you knew what you were doing. We are telling you today that you have many gifts and you need to put them to use. When we say put them to use, that is share your ability with others. What we mean when we say utilize them is trust, begin to trust yourself when you get a vision when you get a thought, when you when you know that some something has happened and you're, you're like, I knew that was going to happen, or that you have um, some psychic abilities or that you have some other types of um, abilities that you haven't been allowing to, to um, listen to, you need to listen to them. You need to start doing that. You can't dismiss it any longer. It will improve your health. It will improve your outlook. It will improve your finances. It will improve your business engagements. And it, when you ignore them, it reduces your standards. It reduces the possibilities. When we say share your gifts, we mean also share it with yourself. 
Share it with whoever you decide to share them with. It has not does not mean to mean anybody, but it can mean yourself. And that is the primary thing you should be doing is share it with yourself. Appreciate what you are. Because you really do have some natural abilities, metaphysical abilities that you put into everything you do. You just didn't know you were doing that. When you're planning, planning for some, you know, planning for somebody else, you were using your psychic abilities. When you um, make, make plans and you change your plans, you were using your psychic abilities. So that is the message for you is utilize your gift, appreciate your gift. And forget all those hooks you've had over your life. They're behind you now. That is it for Aquarius. Utilize your psychic, utilize your metaphysical gifts, give them to yourself. This will be a really nice month for you, Aquarius. Enjoy your month. Um, Please like and share my videos and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'm going to move on to the next uh, sign, the Pisces sign. And uh, just have a nice month. It'll be good for you. Welcome, Pisces. This is your intuitive oracle astrology channeling for the month of November of 2023. As a reminder, I am the uh, I am an intuitive oracle channeler. I picked, I laid out, uh, this is this is the second part um, video, but I did two videos. One was with Aries through Virgo, and this was Libra through Pisces. And um, I laid out three sets of cards, and I'm going to show you the cards that have come up for you, and then I'm going to do an intuitive uh, channeling for you. So the first channel, uh, the first card is the Grand Symphony. The Ace of Swords and the Forest. This is the channeling I'm getting for you. It does sound trite, but you haven't been able to see the forest through the trees. You haven't been able to sort out so that you see long distance, you see farther into your future. We are asking you for the month of November to start anew. Start new. Don't let the burdens, the emotions, the uh, energy from the past years bind you down any longer. Because you do have a most beautiful symphony, a most beautiful song to let out. You've been kind of hesitant on letting, letting your your light shine, letting your body, your your energy sing, sing to the world, sing to yourself. The energy that you will be receiving for the month of November of 2023 is clarity of thought. You will be able to sort out the the things you don't need and keep the things you need. The key things that you don't want and the things you do want. And that is how the chords work. If you are not clear thinking, then you cannot... You cannot shine as brightly as you you can. You cannot shine as brightly as you are. You do not sing as strong as you are. The month of November is giving you a fresh start. The energy that will be surrounding you is clarity. You will be finally able to say, I really have a beautiful life. I really have a really nice life. 
I have a good relationship or a good relationship is coming to me. I have a really nice job. I really appreciate it. I have a good time doing it. Yes, I have put some burdens on myself. But those burdens will be lightened for you beginning in the month of November. So for the month of November, many times we say sit still. In this case, we're saying you will receive the clarity that you need. And those are the the steps that you will be taking. It is a fresh start for you. You are getting a fresh start. The month of November of 2023 for Pisces is a fresh start. You will come to the appreciation of everything that you have. You have appreciated it, but you you will sing that song. You will be, be in that, it says, Grand Symphony. You will have that Grand Symphony running running through your life at all times in every aspect of your life you are go you are getting a fresh start and take it freshen everything up allow the freshening up of everything because the clarity shows you your way it clears it clears out the gunk And then you're not burdened. I sense that there has been some burden, uh, burdens in your life that you just didn't seem to be able to overcome, but you're going to do that this month. You're going to overcome the burdens because they don't really matter. The burdens are burdens. The burdens are something that you misunderstood. The burdens are the things that you uh, really didn't see clearly. The burdens are that type of energy that or that no longer serves you, and that clarity comes in, and they don't matter anymore. The burdens don't matter anymore because they were misinterpreted, or they were um, a long time ago. And you get a fresh start. And it's time for you to appreciate. It's time for you deserve that fresh start. You deserve the fresh start. It's a fantastic month for you, uh, Pisces. It is a wonderful month for you. Get your fresh start. Take some deep breaths and let that sunshine in. Let your light shine. Let your let you sing your song. It's time you deserve it. It's time and you deserve it. That's all I have for you, Pisces. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Please like and share my videos. You're going to have a nice month. If you have not done so yet, please um, subscribe to my channel. And have a great month, Pisces. It's going to be great. I'd love to hear. Um, That's it. Thank you. Um, okay, so this wraps up the, the astrology, uh, intuitive oracle astrology for the month of November of 2023. I've done it in two separate videos. Um, this one included Libra through Pisces. The first one is Aries through um, Virgo. And um, I'm really happy I was able to do it this month. I I really have been low on energy, but I'm feeling so much better since April. But um, I'm really happy I was able to do this and and doing them all in one one grouping this way seemed to work out pretty good. So I might do this again next month, but then I hopefully I'll get into being able to do one um, video at a time. So thank you um, for being here. I really appreciate you being here. Have a really great month. November of 2023 is going to be a fabulous month for everybody. Um, Thank you so much for stopping in. Um, And also just remember, I do have other content um, that you might be interested in. It's not just astrology, oracle, intuitive readings. It's it's other stuff too. But um, I hope you you join me there too. Um, And also on my Patreon channel. Anyway, thank you for being here. 
And please stay tuned because there is a lot more to come.